Hello and welcome to my revisit of Shameless, where I'll be watching another one of the show's best episodes based on the recommendations in the comments of my previous video about the show. Why? Well, back in the day when we used to watch TV, we didn't start the show season one episode one. We started somewhere in the middle and had to piece the story together through reruns. But now, thanks to the internet, we don't do that anymore. So there's no more confusion, and confusion is part of the fun. At least for me it is. Now the episode that was recommended to me it was Season 4, Episode 11, Emily. Thank you to Miss Paintlock for recommending that episode. Now what are my predictions for this? Now I don't know who Emily is, but I'm gonna assume it's their mom's name? Maybe this episode is about them discovering something about her they didn't know before. Like a secret related to her illness or something. And I know that Fiona is going to jail in this one, so I'm assuming she's gonna face some conflict with her new jailmates, and there's probably gonna be some sort of threats or a fight that happens there. I really don't know. The episode name Emily is not a lot to work with, so let's Let's find out if I'm right. What did Fiona get arrested for? My theory is possession. Possession of drugs. What they nab you for? With intent to sell. Why you on this bus? It ain't a sightseeing tour. I broke probation. That's it? Stabbed my boyfriend's wife in the stomach a little bit. Bitch claimed she was pregnant. Knew she was full of shit and was saying it to hold on to him. I had to prove her wrong, right? Turns out she wasn't lying. What? Hey, Pops. You are looking better today. Okay, this episode was a few episodes before one I made a video on previously. So I guess I already know how this stuff ends. Right? I guess. Hi. Good morning. I'm Emily. I need a new heart. Oh, this is Emily. Okay. Ah, uh, so I was wrong. She has cardiomyopathy. My heart muscles doesn't pump enough blood into the rest of my body. Is that why you look like a vampire? Jesus. Is Mr. Gallagher your father? Sure is. I don't have a father. Damn. Frank survived. This is a liver transplant, in case you were wondering. Nope. Wasn't. <laughs> I gotta go to the church for the christening today. Thought you didn't care. I don't. Why are you going then? My son, man. His son? What did he say? I'll head over by myself. I'll be back in a couple hours. What, you don't want me to go? Probably best if you don't, tough guy. Yeah, for you, maybe. This guy was on, um... Malcolm in the Middle. The way he looked on Malcolm in the Middle, I kind of assumed he'd be short. So he must have had a growth spurt or something crazy. This one, right? If we're a couple or not. Of course we are. A couple that hides. Hey. Oh, it's college days. Looking up your quarter grades. They haven't posted yet. Oh my god, is Emily gonna die? I just thought about that. Is that why the episode is named after her? Oh no. Tell me this kid's not gonna die. What do I have to do to get you to shut up? Well, maybe if I had something else to occupy my mouth. Whoa. Much better idea. <sighs> Whoa. No, 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 no. Too risky. Hey, don't. Why? Levels the playing field. I'm on my knees. You're wearing a hairnet. Well, can't put this on YouTube. Oh, hey, look, I'm, I'm not going to be able to have dinner with your parents tonight, okay? You promised to help terrorize my parents in exchange for me giving you stuff. Why is he dating her again? Oh, right, because he, she's rich. I would totally hook up with Mr. George. He's foxy. This is just our fantasy teacher list. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Well, that's no, I wasn't the only one who was like that in high school. Granted, I didn't openly discuss it with other people. There's Henry McNally. He is so fantastic. I want to suck him like a slushy. Oh my god. He makes my loins roar with hunger. Calm down. Hey Debbie, how's it going? Are they gonna be rude to him? Me? Her? Yeah, I can help you with your lab if you want. <laughs> knock, knock. How oh, is the patient? Well, he still hasn't woken up yet. He'll wake up in a little while, I guess. Frank. Frankie, 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 Frank, Frank, Frankie. Frank. Hey, let him rest, fool. Damn. It's me, Sheila. You have got to wake up. You see, you have some... Whoa. Whoa. Not in front of the kids. What is going on with all the PDA in front of children all of a sudden? These are his soon-to-be children, and I'm his wife. Huh. <laughs> well, we know how that works out. We could do a Native American Indian tribal dance to wake him, Mama Sheila. You learned about it in our cultural history class at school. I wish I could go to school. <sighs> Hi, I'm, I'm Wendy. This is my daughter, Emily. Hi. Oh, I'm, I'm Sheila. I'm, I'm Frank's wife. Are they actually married? Why don't you show us your tribal dance? Or we could just let him rest like he's supposed to. Yeah. I think the dance is a wonderful idea. So do I. 
She seemed nicer in the other episode I saw her in. She lost the kids. She was sad about it. She let the other woman come in for dinner or whatever. Even though the two of them did fight each other. Oh, damn. How much money is in this place? It's my piece of shit husband. Husband? Oh, right. The foreign woman. No, we must wait. The whole family needs to be here to witness baptism. Or what? It didn't really happen? Who is that? Oh, our boyfriend. I didn't know he had a baby. To end sin and begin goodness. Through this baptism, Evgeny is cleansed from sin. Why is she mad at him? Wait, but they live together, right? So it's been your sister's a Decatur. Yeah, I guess. I've forgotten this kid's name, but I've been getting a lot of YouTube recommendations. Like, YouTube short videos of him working random jobs. Okay. Oh, this is a girlfriend who leaves. Carl? Yeah. I know. So. <laughs> Good job. No, I can't look. I've seen him as a waiter, a cop, and one other thing I don't remember. My parents aren't going to be home this weekend. You should come over and we can watch porn. I downloaded Sperm some endearment. Jesus, what the hell? <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, give oh, it to me yeah, just yeah. like that. Wait, is this the pizza the delivery boy she couldn't wait to see? Off the bus, single line. Oh, what? I think this might be the first time I've seen a, an unloading of criminals on a TV show where they aren't handcuffed as they come out the van. Oh, no, they are handcuffed. Damn it, I just didn't notice. And the probability of your pulling an ace is 4 over 52. Can I help you? Is it a lecture hall? Why is the board so tiny? You want to torture your parents? Bring them to my house for dinner tonight. We're having a leftover lasagna. Jump on your right foot, pause. Now on your left foot, pause. High knees. High knees? Yep, high knees. That's good running form. I'm having a great time. Okay. What the hell are you guys doing? We're waking Frank spirit. Why don't you just do this? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Where am I, Debbie? I'm Sammy. I better get the doctor. Where's Mama going, Lip? She thinks we're different people. Mr. Gallagher is suffering from post-operative delirium. Okay. It often happens when a patient undergoes intense surgery where a heavy dose of sedation was used. Mm -hmm. He'll be back to his old self soon. Oh, shoot. I just moved. Is that bad? <laughs> the hell does Debbie have that I don't have? Her hymen. What? He's an 11th grader. She's a redhead. I love redheads. Good thing I didn't dye my hair last night. <laughs> She's a redhead? Not according to this screen. Gotta turn up the freaking saturation. I think we'll get in trouble. I would have to basketball practice. Beyond the stairs in the gym basement. Okay. Huh? Ready to see? I don't know what he just suggested, uh... but that sounds, uh... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Oh, damn. It's really good. I mean, it doesn't, does it look like her? I guess. Oh, let me get that for you. Is that enough cabbage for you? I can make my own plate, it's fine. Oh, no problem at all. How about some corned beef? Why are you being such a suck up? Yeah, why is he mocking him? You and me got a thing we gotta settle. Look, I'm just trying to put everything in the past, okay? I'm a conscientious objector now. What? <laughs> Something to do with Muhammad Ali. Peace and love? Okay, thank you. Great. Thank you. Tell your boyfriend to leave. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait, is this the episode where the bar fight happens? Tell him to leave or I will. Svenlaw wants you to go. You want me to go? Give me a couple hours, I'll meet you back at your place. If you make me leave, don't come over. The fuck you acting like a girl, huh? Huh? I'm sick of living a lie, aren't you? I'm not lying to you. Okay, this is where he comes at. Wait, so this is the episode before the one I watched then. Huh. Because you're not free. At least I'm assuming it is. I'll have to check. Even what you and I have makes me free. Not what these assholes know. Look at the state of Illinois just for these back in society. Daddy's home. Oh, it's his dad. Look at scared little boy running to daddy. Eat me. Where's this grandson of mine to keep hearing about? Hey, look at the little shit. He has a cigarette in his mouth. Take the baby away from him. Let's take a picture for your sister, huh? All right. Hopefully you get this. How's the pokey, huh? How's the what? Don't drop the soap. We're good. Only 89 more days, okay? Oh, Fiona? What? I like you. <sighs> Me too. That's great, but what's with the hand placement? Okay, no, no, no. We're not ready for that. I don't, I don't think we should. Why not? I mean, we just met. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, wait till the dance? You're asking me to the dance? I don't know, I mean, if you'll go with me. Yeah. I'm hoping this ends well. Surprise! 
What the hell? You've met my stepbrother, Henry. What? Why would you do this to me? Well, Sima gave me 50 bucks. Oh. I don't get what's so amusing about that, though. Well, who the hell are you? Because I know that's a real thing to like ask people out as a joke, but I don't get the joke. I guess it's an egotistical joke, like, oh, I'm too good for you. How could you think that I want to go out with you? Who the fuck are those kids downstairs? They live in a van. Why is that my problem? It's the winter. Just get rid of them. Oh, this is why the house was loaded the following episode. No, on second thought, they can stay. Cool. Just till after dinner, then they're gone. The stress is crazy. Are we going to see what prison life is like? No! A family dinner. Welcome. Well, hello, mom. I'm Wesley Gretzky from DCS. Oh my gosh, she was in Malcolm in the Middle too. She played the wife of um Francis, the oldest brother. Like to come in, please do an inspection. Oh, it's not the mom. It's um. Oh my God, I am racist. I thought it was the the girlfriend's mom. All right, when I call your name, step up and get your bunk assignment. Gallagher, Fiona, bed 44. Thank you. Don't think me yet. You ain't tried the bed yet. Lol. Oh, yeah. That's some brown on your nose, bitch. Longfeld. What? It's bad to be polite in, in jail? Or is this a prison? I don't know. Daddy's gonna be mad we're not home to make dinner. Sorry, folks. Visiting hours are over. Okay, so I'm still not getting the significance of Emily so far. Night pops. Be back first thing in the morning. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, my sweet, sexy man. Mm -hmm. Moms, stop. We're in public. Huh? That's right. I forgot I'm mom. When do we get home? What? <laughs> These need to be stored properly. Stuff's so diluted, I mean, I doubt there's even any cleaning product left. A lost cabinet would also work. Okay, so they got CPS problems. Floorboard is coming up on this step. A couple of exposed nails on the one below. Damn. Who are these children? Neighborhood kids. I'm babysitting. Six children or more is considered a daycare, for which you will need a license. Okay. Which I don't imagine you have. Oh, you, you've imagined correctly. Damn. Why is she so rude to him? He's trying his best, ma'am. Where are the guardians of this household? I have a Francis and Fiona Gallagher, father and sister. Yeah, they're at work. Lol. They put you in charge. That's correct. So if I were to call Mr. and Ms. Gallagher, I'd find them both at work. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda's here with her parents. These are my parents, Jason and Cheryl. They're white. Okay. That's uh, Wesley from the DCFS. She's a social worker here on a surprise visit. Maybe she's your real mom. And that's my brother, Carl. Oh, uh, well, at least I'm not alone. These are his friends. They live in a van. So who's ready for dinner? So her parents are stuck up rich folk. Fiona, you're awake. Are you talking to me? What are you doing? Do visiting hours really apply to children? Because I definitely wouldn't want to be a little child alone in a hospital for a long time. I'm sorry we left you and your brother in Washington Park last night. <laughs> what? How many hours was that? You could have frozen to death. I promise. I want to be a better dad. It's okay. You mad at me? No, they're not going to kill this little girl, aren't they? No. Want me to take you to Claire's tomorrow? Get your ears pierced. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're here with me, Fiona. Me too. Daddy. Damn. So then I pummeled the fucking face in good. That'll teach you quiz to try to rape a milk bitch in the prison, huh? Well, guess we know who he fights. I thought your father should know he didn't beat all the queer out of you. You know, your life right here right now is as good as it's ever gonna get. You gotta go get plowed all day, yeah, but you come home to a roof over your head, five years from now you're gonna be a used up, dried up old whore. Damn. Sucking guys off on the sidewalk for five bucks a pop. Damn. Wouldn't fuck this up if I were you. Damn. I just wanna let you know that I'm leaving. I'll see you back at the place. No, don't. We're done. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't have any interest in being a mistress anymore. Okay, the moment is coming. When did you get so dramatic? When I realized what a pussy you are. Ooh, everybody's swinging hard today. You think you're a tough man, huh? You're not. You're a coward. You're afraid of your father. You're afraid of your wife. You're afraid to be who you are. I'm sorry, wife? They were married? I thought you just had a baby on the side. Jesus, man. You are good. Leave. The hell do I care, bitch? But he does care. Hey! I get everybody's attention, please. All right, you got it. I just want everybody here to know I'm fucking gay. Big old mo. What? Just thought everybody should know that. You happy now? Huh?
No reaction? I thought a fight was gonna happen here. I guess it would happen in a couple of Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's light work. Oh, Jesus. You can hit him with a couple. There we go. There we go. Come on, two piece combo that thing. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, what the hell? Pretty sure that's illegal. Like, all those guys are, again, suspensions. No, you would get expelled for doing that. Oh, I'm fucking fucking! I've been staying at Ian since you've been in the camp, bitch! Guess what we've been doing, Daddy? We've been uh, fucking! <laughs> He gives it to me good and hard, and I fucking like it. Oh my god. What is your problem, Terry? You've been out for four hours, and you're already into a fight? You're breaking your probation. Yep. So how long is he gonna go in for? A couple years? As for you, you're free to go. I'd rather get home to my husband, Carlos. I mean, technically he didn't commit a crime. He was acting in self-defense. Oh, Lip's sister's in prison. No way, our auntie's in prison too. For what? Murder. She's on death row. God damn. Telling your sister about me? I am in your bed with my girlfriend. Does Fiona have access to a phone? Why are they sending her messages? After her and her family leave in the van, do they ever come back? Does he ever see her again? I'd like you to stop seeing Amanda. Kind of not your choice. How much? A couple mil. She's not in love with you. You do know that, right? No, we're not really at that stage yet. Well, she's just trying to drive me crazy by going out with someone like you. Someone like him? You seem like a perfectly nice kid, but Amanda's just rebelling. Right, well, don't blame her. You're kind of a dick. Oof. I'm not denying that. How about $5,000, man? That's not enough. Triple it. Is he serious? He's going to pay me not to date your daughter? How about 10? I have the cash with me. On you. In this neighborhood? Foolish. Have we got a deal? He doesn't take the deal, right? Fiona, you hungry? I'm gonna go get us something to eat. Is Fiona all right? I mean, Emily? <laughs> did you take the money? What do you think? That you did. Really? Well, did you? No. Yeah. Why? So, we're breaking up then. Well, a uh, deal's a deal, right? Well, damn. You taught me to be a man of my word. And I was just starting to really like you. What? So is he lying? I can't tell. Brownies. Is that is that appropriate for him to eat in his condition? She's back. Oh, ten grand. I panicked. I told you he gave my BMX boyfriend in high school fifteen thousand. I didn't know he's gonna have to cash on him. Should have held out. Ah, uh, stupid. I'd never seen that much money before. Okay, so it was a part of their plan. I was right. Well, I was thinking it. I don't think I said it. Damn, wipe some of that off. Okay, yeah. Yep. That's it? That's all they have to say? So you really came out, huh? Doesn't mean I'm gonna wear a fucking dress or anything. Nobody fucking asked you to. Well, you do have really nice legs. Does he? I don't think I've seen them. I'm calling it. Mark this time of death. 9 5 p.m. Oh no, she did die. No! Phew. Damn it. He doesn't even remember it though, right? Because the next episode, at no point is her death mentioned. So that was shameless. I had no idea this episode was actually the one preceding the very first Shameless video I ever did, which was about eight months ago, I believe, in mid-February was when I recorded that video. Fiona going to prison and then coming out the following episode means to me that they've already done like a prison storyline before with her, which is why they chose to skip it a second time, maybe? I don't know. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.